Archaeologists are just now learning that the St. Belek slab, an ancient 13-foot-long stone slab, may in fact be the oldest cardiographical depiction of European land. While there are other maps carved in stone that exist around the world, this is the first one that actually depicts an area of land at a specific scale. French prehistorian Paul de Chatelier first excavated the St. Belek slab in 1900 from a burial site in Brittany, northwestern France. At the time, he wasn't sure what the carving signified, and put the slab aside in his private collection for future research. The precious slab was then sold by de Chatelier's children to the French Museum of National Archaeology, which kept it hidden in isolation in a castle cellar. After the slab was rediscovered in 2014, archaeologists began a modern investigation in hopes of understanding more. The tomb in which the slab was buried dates back to the Bronze Age, between 1900 and 1600 BCE, but researchers think the slab could be decades or even centuries older than the tomb. They also think the 3D carvings of the map represents the Odette River region where the tomb was located. Correlations between the carvings and ethnographic maps of the area suggest that the mapped area is around 18.6 miles long and 13 miles wide. Although the topography represented in the carvings seem very likely, the researchers are less certain what the other motifs in the slab represent. One hypothesis is that the map was linked to assertions of power and therefore depicts an organizational plan of land ownership and use declared by the ruler at the time. If this is the case, the slab may have been buried after the ruler's death as a rejection of the power-ruling elite, to be hidden away for thousands of years. 